Hi everyone, Richard here with a Google Classroom tip. If you've recently been added to multiple Google Classrooms as a co-teacher, uh, you may feel like your Google Classroom dashboard is a little bit unmanageable. You may have pages that look like this that scroll forever and ever. So I'm going to propose that uh, you look into creating a Data Studio dashboard with hyperlinks to all your classes. And that would give you a view that looks like this. So in this video, I'm going to show you the app script that's involved in creating the Google Sheet, which is connected to this Data Studio. And this Data Studio can then be filtered and sorted so you can find exactly what it is that you're looking for. And you can customize the data that appears in these columns. So, and of course, these are the hyperlinks to the specific classrooms. So let's get started. Um, the first thing is, is I have a Google app script that is connected to this Google Sheet, and this template is available on my blog. I will share a link in the description of this video. And what I'll do is open up here the script editor, but as you notice already, there is a custom menu. So the first function will manually, manually list all of your Google Classrooms uh, in this Google Sheet. And then the second one is a function that will trigger that relisting every night at 11 p.m. And this is to ensure that you get the latest data. If any new classrooms have been added, it'll appear in that list. And you also get new data related to when a classroom was last updated. So, Let's go ahead and open up the script editor. So here is the menu that I was just talking about. That can stay as is, no modification is, is needed there. And then here's where we list the courses. Now, I'm gonna talk a little bit about how this is working. So you can see I'm opening the spreadsheet that is, uh, connected to the script. That's why I'm using the get active spreadsheet. I don't need the the ID of the spreadsheet to access it. I'm also choosing my the tab. Um, so if, if you download the template, the tab will already be named classes or the sheet. And then we're creating an array which we're going to populate with the data from your courses. And the reason it's able to do it in this app script is because under the advanced Google services, we've enabled the Google Classroom API. So this should be enabled for you when you make a copy, but double check that under the advanced Google services that the Google Classroom API is enabled. And then the fun part is, is you can begin deciding what variables you want to include in your data studio table because all of this information becomes the data that feeds that table including this image so this is just a the google classroom icon that we see right here and that will load it'll populate into the array just like all of the other pieces of data so if there's other pieces of data that you're interested in, one thing you can do is you can simply add another variable. So let's just say variable x equals. And notice there's a pattern here uh, under the word course. So if we type course, it's going to list all of the other types of data that we could include in that table. So if we wanted a a hyperlink to that teacher's drive folder in classroom, or if we wanted the, uh, to find out if the guardians have been enabled in that Google Classroom, all of this information is up for grabs. And if you add the variable, I recommend sort of renaming it to somewhat match the data you're looking at. And then the second thing you would need to do is add it in this array. So all of these variables here are coming from the variables that are part of this loop. So it, this 
all of this data is being pushed into this array and then after all of the courses are found um, it sets those values there right and then this final function is the one which I talked about earlier that's going to set a trigger to relist all of these classes at 11 p.m. So if we watch this happen, I'm going to go ahead and just simply delete this uh, right now. And you can watch it work. So I'm going to go to Google Classroom Tools, list all Google Classrooms. It's going to run the script, add all of the data that I had requested, and then um, I'm ready to build my data studio. So let's uh, change gears now and look at how the data studio is constructed. Um, if you haven't ever used data studio, you'll, you'll need to sort of first launch it. It'll prompt you with a few questions and then you'll need to connect it to a data source. So when you go to create a new data studio, select the option which says use a Google sheet. And then it's pretty intuitive from there. I'm going to put this into edit format so you can kind of see what this looks like. Um, what you want to do is insert uh, a table. So there's a table option right here. And it'll immediately add these a few or one of the dimensions or two of the dimensions automatically into your table. But then you can proceed to add and edit your own and you can change the styling so if you want to try to match the colors of Google Classroom you would use the style tab to, to play with the, the colors the size of the text and whatnot and the same applies for these filters all right so these filters are, are located uh, right here so if you wanted to add another filter you could click on this drop it somewhere on the table and then pick a dimension that you would like to filter. So if we look at the data and we look at the fields that are available, you're going to see a couple fields that I had to create within Data Studio. And one is the image field. So we can render the Google Classroom icon image and then another one that makes it a hyperlink. So I'm going to show you how you do that. So to add a field, so again, this is data that is not currently in your Google Sheet, but you want to make a new field. You click Add a New Field. And you're going to give that field a name and put in the formula. So I'll show you the two that I've created. So the first one I created was uh, the image link itself, and it looks like this. So I just named it image link and the function, the formula here is just using image and again no equal sign just write image and then one of our headers was image so we're gonna just use that one so this will sort of render the image in data studio and then you go ahead and click done but I'm going to go back to all fields and then the other one is the class link and for this one, it is using uh, the URL to your Google Classroom, which is available in the Google Sheet. And then it's using the image link, which we just created in the previous example. So again, no equal sign, hyperlink, URL, image link. And these could be called different things, but this is just what I decided to, to do it. And then when you've added them, they appear here in your available uh, fields and you can just drag them over into your dimensions, right? And these are completely customizable. You can rotate them. You can put them in a different, you know, hierarchical order. You can establish a default uh, sort, you know, pattern if you want descending or ascending as well as a secondary sort, so on and so forth. So. This can be as customizable as you want it. I just wanted to kind of get you started on using this as a tool and creating this list view of Google Classroom. 
Hope you've enjoyed this idea and tutorial. Thanks for watching. Bye.